Welcome back to Welder Skills. Today we're going to talk about 7018 rods. Most 7018 rods are meant to be DC. Now there's some that are AC and they usually say AC right on them. But they're kind of rare. So most of the time 7018 is going to be DC electrode positive. So that means stinger positive. Now if you don't run it, if you run this electrode negative, uh, it makes a very unique sound that you can hear from across the shop. So if somebody else is trying to weld, uh, you might be able to help them out. And then if you eventually, eventually you're going to mess up the water leads yourself, and then you'll know what's going on. We're going to run eighth inch rods off the engine drive. Uh, we're going to have this set at 120 amps. Okay, we'll get lit up here. We're welding right along. Got caught up in the tripod there, a little jerk and things, but we're just welding along here. Everything's looking good. There's not a lot of spatter. It sounds good. It's going to turn out to be a nice looking weld. Okay, here we are with the reverse polarity, or the electrode negative. You see all the spatter, the arcs all over the place. It sounds kind of weird. It's not welding very nice. And it's going to leave a really big crater at the end where I stop. So this is, this is just a bad day here. Okay, we're just going to flick this out of the way. The slag peels off really nice when everything goes to plan. So on the left is the proper way and on the right is not so great way and you can see that big crater at the end of the one on the right. And the bead profile seems like it's kind of piled up like it, it's too tall, like it didn't really uh, flow into the base metal like you'd want. So that's a quick tip for today. Thanks for watching.